Lift off. Release. A new space probe has blasted off from Earth to begin a blazingly hot journey to the sun. It's now passing through Max-Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The Solar Orbiter, built by NASA and the European Space Agency, is on a 10-year voyage with the aim of taking a close-up look at the sun's poles. Injector pressures look good. The second stage RCS system press valve is open. The minivan-sized spacecraft lifted off from Cape Canaveral in Florida and is expected to reach as close as 26 million miles from the sun's surface. Settling as expected. Paolo Ferri is head of the European Space Agency's operations department. Well, the goal of Solar Orbiter is, of course, to understand better the Sun and understand, in particular, the, the processes that occur in, inside the Sun and uh, on the surface of the Sun, uh, which also affect directly our life on Earth. For example, the solar wind, the, uh, the, the, the cycle of the Sun, the solar cycle with the solar spots, the magnetic field of the Sun. There's a lot that we observe from Earth but we don't necessarily understand how this phenomena is generated, and this is the purpose of, of the mission. Solar wind can negatively impact satellites and electronics here on Earth. The mission also hopes to learn more about how to protect astronauts from radiation in space. And we have good indication of jettison of the solid rocket booster.